Dude, have you have you heard Train from Hell? No, I've never heard. I've heard Train to Busan. I've watched it, the movie. Well, this is a lot different, a lot better. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, I don't know what. I don't a know. A lot better. There's probably a lot more time spent on Train from Hell. There we go. I don't know how to turn this up any I, it, I think it's it's cranked as far as we can go right now. Yeah. Maybe maybe through it's the playing. TV. The TV volume needs to be louder. That's good. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty chill for a train going to hell. Ooh, well, just, wait. Hell. just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Oh, it's coming from. Yep. <laughs> May or may not go back to hell at some point. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, and then you guys are good to go whenever you're ready. And hell is Israel? <laughs> In this scenario? It can be. Okay. Yeah, the train's going right to hell. It is fun. Th that is some people's just genuine hell. Yeah. yeah. Where they're in Israel and they're like, I guess I gotta walk out of here and they get to the border. Yeah, guys, and it's like a, yeah. a, a clear wall. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. A force field. All they do is keep complaining about air conditioning and then signing missiles and saying they deserve it. <laughs> They keep you trying to tell me that the Chuck E. Cheese's are a terrorist hub. Look at this. When did you put them on? <laughs> I've had them on the entire time. He also I went to the gym in these. Oh, I don't know what those are, but that kind of pisses me off. Maybe. In classic okay. Trey fashion, yeah, okay, you sprinted so. around the house yep. to let Neil and I in, and you were like, I'm helping my neighbor jumpstart his car. <laughs> and then you were you were sprinting and yeah. helping your neighbor jumpstart his car in Yeezy Pies. It makes the like it makes the like the Dexter from Dexter's laboratory mom sound when he walks like mm -hmm. <laughs> Like he's on his tiptoes. I can't you can start believe the you were. Whenever you guys like. I <laughs> think we already <laughs> did. Yeah. Okay. When we were talking about Israel and whatnot, that's probably a good. That's place a probably to good start. place to start. Oh. Yeah. When when we stopped talking about it. Oh, okay. just just take the call, Chris. Come on. Don't be a fucking pussy. Hello, Trey's boss. Please. You're on the He's air. He's gonna pop off. You should probably not. I'm playing Train from Hell right now, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Wolfgang Hunter, how are you, dude? I'm doing good, man. You know, this will probably be, it'll already have happened by the time the 12 people that watch this see it, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm headlining at Acme, or not Acme, uh, I wish, fucking uh -huh. Sisyphus on Friday, and that's exciting. We have three tickets sold. Um, It'll be, you're yeah. going to be good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. It's good to be out of New York City, man. Yeah, how you, how's it been treating you lately? Dude, good. I've stopped having, like, fucking panic attacks and being pissed off all the time. And What stopped that? <laughs> just, it, it, life got infinitely better the second I left uh, New York City. Yeah. I just, just oh, are you out, out? There. No, unfortunately, I have a woman I love that has me kind of, like, I say it like it's a bad thing, like, oh no, I'm trapped in New York City, yeah. it's so awful, With the place someone people I try to get to, but, yeah, like, we have a dog and an apartment that the lease isn't up on yet, but it's just like, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm not having a good time there. Yeah. 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 Besides the lady? Oh, uh, the lady's the only good part. Yeah. It's more of just that, like, I'm like, I'm kind of uh, at a standstill comedy-wise, and then if, I I'm not even really doing that much comedy anymore, because I have to, like, work at the bar all the time. So you should, just, I'm just kind of trapped in like a taxi driver hell. I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sucks. You gotta be, you're like Travis Bickle, but a bartender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You should just start doing comedy at Travis, people in the Travis bar. Travis Nickel. It's a, a <laughs> Jewish Travis Bickle. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, there's just so many taxi drivers. Other ta I don't like what the other taxi drivers <laughs> believe in. They worship the wrong God. They're savages. They need to be put down. If I had a button right now I could press to get rid of all the other taxi drivers, <laughs> I'd press it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd wash them away with the with the flood, <laughs> but water is kind of expensive, so yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Dude, a, a taxi driver being like, "I'll handle this solo." Fucking awesome. <laughs> I uh, we'll yeah, you get to bad. interact with a lot more Jewish people. Mm -hmm. I don't see many here. Yeah, I uh, Dan. They stay well, pretty Soder, hidden. I don't know what it's like the Midwest, but Dan Soder has a good thing where he's like, when you're out west, like Mormons are our Jews. Yeah, like I don't think that applies to the Midwest, but like if you're in like Colorado and stuff, it's apparently I guess that's the religious group that won't share their secrets. I see. The, the Mormons. I just think in general they're not willing to share their secrets. 
Yeah, but also like Jewish people that live out here are like like normal. They're like not like Hasidic people. They're, it isn't like Jewish people. It's like like Jewish rednecks. I see. Oh well, yeah, I mean there have been people that I've met that later I found out were Jewish. And I went, oh, you're like mm -hmm. oh. wouldn't have guessed you that. Be you, be <laughs> you betrayed me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I eating, can't believe you lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking you, the, the impossible meat right here. <laughs> impossible meat Jewish guy. I didn't know he was Jewish. You were. Oh, so chill, like you yeah. <laughs> you didn't annoy me at all. I, I didn't think at all you had a bunch of money and could help me further my career in entertainment. Yeah. Look at you now. No, but it's that's sort of like because it's like there's like that too in New York where it's like people. It's just literally they're just like anybody else, but they're just a Jewish guy. Yeah. But then you have like a dude wearing a frock wool coat in ninety degree weather in the middle of July. He's like, God that told me to do this, and I have to do it. Well, I just love doing that the out of the goodness of my heart. Year. If that's what God's telling me to do, yeah, put on this God, big God said, wear coat. The drip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All year, move to one of the yeah. most intolerable climates in the summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get down there, dude. Mm -hmm. well, Throw like, your big coat on. Yeah. Throw just, some curls out. It's just because, the, like, yeah, they're like they're not socialized properly and they're like rednecks, Hasidic people are. Whereas like Jewish people, the other, like they live on the Upper East Side or in other parts of Brooklyn. They're like, you know, chill, normal, yeah. but like, because they understand optics, you know, like they understand like, okay, like, you know, I love Israel, but I'm not going to say it at this Brooklyn open mic because all of the black women will get mad at me. <laughs> so they're like smart, but like Hasidic people don't really think of it. They don't care. Yeah. It's not that they can't, re they're not perceptive. They just don't give a fuck. Like they bought this like Pentecostal church in my neighborhood that like all these Latinos would go to. They bought it and they're going to turn it into apartments. And they were like, they had this crew of like, you know, just construction workers bulldozing it. And I just like, I'm walking by and I just see two Jewish guys like with walkie talkies and they point <laughs> and then they just knock the crucifix off the building. I'm like, <laughs> you, guys, you guys can't be yeah. here for this part. <laughs> this looks no. so bad. Yeah. Can we tear it awesome. down now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. They got some, another Jewish guy on the talkie. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the union. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking in there like SEAL Team 6. I got it. I got it. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> oh, somebody turned the light on. My night vision glasses are hurting my eyes now. Oh, I told you not to turn on the lights. It fucks with my glasses. <laughs> um, But yeah, so it's just like shit like that. It's like that with every, I think, ethnic group though in New York. It's like, because it's like, it's just such a big city that everybody wants to go to. You have the best versions of like a background and mm. then also the worst versions. Mm -hmm. So you have every like person that defies a stereotype and then multiply that by 50, you have all of the guys following the stereotype. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's a tough look for anybody. You guys just stack on top of each other out there. You just keep putting more and more people mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, and it does, well, that'll, hopefully God will wash the city off the face of the earth. I say day. that every time I yeah. go there, I can't wait till this fucker sinks. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Racine, I think, like, said one of the funniest things when I first, like, met him and I was doing a moving job with him, where he was like, yeah, I don't know, I just, just try to be a good person. Like, the city literally just drags the racism out of you with a gun. <laughs> 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 like, you have no choice. <laughs> you're either, like, I just am convinced you're either a racist or you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I will say New York, it it makes you a worse person. Yeah. Every yeah. time I go there, we spent it was kind of a hellish month together. Yeah, dude, you get like hit with like a minus fifty empathy points. Your empathy skill tree gets like a nerfed. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you leave, it just like returns back to normal. I don't I don't know what it is. It, though, and it's only a city you can be like eat like rich in you can't be right. poor there oh like, no i don't know be, like rich and in an evil way to enjoy living there <laughs> yeah you have to wrong somebody mm -hmm. to or you just have to be like a stupid guy that's from there like yeah you know what i'm saying like we run this fucking town it's like you live at, you you live this is your grandma's apartment yeah <laughs> rent control there he is what's up what's up hey, man damn, dude, we this just is adding, a... adding guys to the mix yeah this is trey's roommate kale oh yeah. sick what's up kale Hell yeah, dude. Man, that weed's smacking me right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. you guys? Same. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm doing too much talking. I, but... <laughs> nah, dude, you're doing, you're doing perfect. Yeah. Yeah, We're you're just, doing good. You're through the whole damn podcast. What we do is, well, why we have guests on is so we can just burn them out. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we just want you because to... we know that everybody's coming to town to do the Acme yep. open bike. Yep. We're, I'm yeah, like, exactly. I got a, I got a greater greater the chances for my good friend Trey and right. Elliot. Right. Yeah. So we have these guests from out of town come on. We yep. have no locals. Nope, no, no locals. locals. Yep, just out of town guests mm-hmm. on Suda Fed. We're high as yeah. fuck, all, smacking off that loud. Yep. Mm-hmm. Either... While we were doing Galaxy Gas out in the backyard, yeah. <laughs> Trey kept doing Darth Vader voice and memory. Yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, that we're, was cool. We're, we're, we're celebrating. Well, I mean, so not, we're celebrating the life right. mm-hmm. of Darth Vader. Yeah, not the loss. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not the loss. Oh, my God. <laughs> Losing Padme, I think uh, that really turned the tide for him. How do you think... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is a, t- a tough day. RIP to a real one. James Earl Jones. Yeah. Do you believe James Earl Jones is like fucking Natalie Portman? That was crazy. Was he? Mm-hmm. Was he? James really? Earl Jones. What a what a boss. In he, real life. In real life, he was he was <laughs> fucking Natalie Portman. Good for him, Good dude. For him. That's why so many people are mourning right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He bossed up. He did. He tore that ass up. That's you so say you cool. like that white boy? You mm-hmm. like that? And George Lucas is like, well, I, I think that it's a good direction. We can take the movie in. <laughs> could, could, um, m- maybe perhaps you uh, fuck my black Jamaican wife and then mm-hmm. do sort of like a Jamaican platypus patois. <laughs> I love a good, I love thinking of people's memory and just rubbing it through the mud. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I love taking, <laughs> love taking just... Their memorial, <laughs> showing their family and yeah. stomping yeah. it, and putting it into the mud. To, to, to one of us being like, "Me thing and me gonna pussy boy, Natalie Portman's <laughs> boom, yeah. me gonna oh, walk yeah. on with that twenty-year-old pussy, Natalie, dancing in the on his face in the backyard, yep. yeah, doing rips <laughs> of galaxy gas." <laughs> yeah, I remember having that epiphany because, like, the day Anthony Bourdain died, I put R.I.P. on Facebook and I just used Jeffrey Epstein's photo instead. <laughs> And I was just like, wow, no matter how cool a guy you are, there's always going to be some, like, fucking loser 20-year-old shithead that's like, yeah, um, about to do something epic online. I'm about to guy. make fun of your memory, yeah. actually. They do. I mean... I hope, like, they use AI to... If I ever put out a special, I feel like I'll die before I do that. But, like, if I ever do, they just take the entire special and they use AI to remove any laughs that I even get. <laughs> and it's just dead air, and then they just re-release it, and they just call it remast the remastered. The cut. remastered with yeah. no laughs whatsoever. The remastered cut, yeah. Or just uh, untimed laughter. Yeah. <laughs> all, all of the setups, none yeah. of the punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> Still guys, quiet. You guys have been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shift all the laughter like back like ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> if so people... my mom's from India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it out in a different language. Put your whole special oh, out in a different way. That's a really do, good do idea. Do a mm-hmm. Mandarin deep fake. Yeah. yeah. Put it all in Mandarin Chinese. But it's still my voice. So mm-hmm. it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and black guy's going like, oh, he crazy for that. Old head. 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 Old I had to ride the bus down to the library to catch Wolfgang's new special, all in Mandarin Chinese. All in, <laughs> God damn, that motherfucking next level. You know what I'm saying? He on some real shit. I don't usually fuck with a white Indian boy like that, but yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he That's cool. crazy innovative, bro. Bro, like <laughs> pushing boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Like reinvented the art form type shit. Do you think there are any mainland Chinese Cat Williams fans? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, they, but they thought it was like an advertisement for like a wet market. They're like, oh, no Caribbean? <laughs> oh, I thought he was a, I thought he was a buffet. <laughs> I, he's gotta, right? What? Like, Cat yeah. Williams has fans all over the world, I'm sure. Yeah. Has he played in China? Oh, that'd be, that'd be a good time. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if there's any main, there might be like a mainland Chinese guy that grew up in like the Bay Area, so he kind of got like wiggerfied. It would be uh, <laughs> It'd be really cool to see like Xi Jinping watching uh, Cat Williams on stage. It'd be cool to like watch like make like the white people my dad hangs out with like watch Cat Williams. Yeah. (laughs) And then like just because they're not they're so old and over it. They're not even going to try to pretend like they understand what he's saying. They're just so far like just such a far disconnect. You know, because like when you watch like a like a guy like like a like a black comic go up at like a in a really white room like here. Like some guy named like Sauce got jokes or something. That's a guy I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, like that's a real guy. You're uh, talking like uh, they yeah they're like, very like 
separate here. There's yeah. some black comics that are doing very well that I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Like well, that you just do not run into and it's like, oh, okay. Well, suck. I guess he's doing well. <laughs> <You just laughs> segregated they made, they made their own circuit. Yeah, they really did. Yeah. No, nah, we we like we uh had inter interracial sex with our comedy open mics in North Carolina. So like they yeah. would go do ours, we'd go do theirs and we would do worse at theirs than they would at ours because at <laughs> ours they would be like you know you have a too deep in the pussy and there'd just be white people pretending that they understand like what they're saying like, yeah oh, it's so funny because they're also laughing at the cadence of it oh like, yeah black guys i mean do have the funniest way of like formulating sentences yeah and then they they're that's when they're in the cocoon is when they're walking on stage and they're they're mm -hmm. telling a good story yeah and then when they burst out of the chrysalis they're about 45 years old and have two kids and like a a wife they don't talk to, and then they take to sitting on the stool and doing more philosophy rather than telling jokes mm -hmm. and running the fuck out of their life. Yeah. yeah. Who, who are you talking Sorry. about? <laughs> who are you talking about? Could be anybody, but uh, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna really, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off there because you know you're kind of showing your ignorance. It's called talking to them. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, letting them know. Yeah, letting them know. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Church. Talk to them. Yeah. Go ahead. Talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. Spit on that thing. Mm -hmm. Hit the fucking thing on your knee and laugh really hard. Like. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, the amount of old black dudes now that pat the <laughs> the mic on the knee. It's so funny. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That's I, a direct I influence from Dave do that in those rooms. I definitely don't switch up my entire act. <laughs> Go oh. hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. I, uh, the yeah, first dude. black show I ever did, they, as soon as I got on stage, a black woman goes, look at his shoes! And then the entire audience <laughs> tore me apart. I was <laughs> <laughs> nine, <laughs> came 19 years old at a VFW, piece. dude. That's pretty tough. So I'm, if I ever do uh, another all black mm. show, I'll wear nicer shoes. Yes. I God, I can't even like remember. <laughs> I know the first time I did one of those rooms, it was bad and they let me know. I think I like blocked it out of my head, like the same way you would like getting molested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where like I have to do mushrooms to remember the first time like I do a black room when just mm -hmm. just flash to me like being like in front of them and be like, oh, this motherfucker think he Indian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to tell us he Indian. Yeah, you, you, yeah, nah, nah with that. I don't believe that. Nah, he Not lying, he lying ass. That motherfucker, 200% Jewish. Yeah, I guess I 200. would guess more Middle Eastern. More Middle mm -hmm. Eastern Jewish, Puerto Rican. Yeah. No, but I remember like, I was like doing like a lot of like faux I'm gay Mr. X, which like worked in like white rooms because it's like, oh, uh, huh, I fucking, I'm, guess what? I'm gay. That's the punchline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, a black I really. Black audience, black dudes specifically do not like that. No. They do not even fuck no. with that. It's no. like, that's they like go, oh, their... Gay, I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, that's their drawing Muhammad is like, even like, <laughs> yeah. like... How you gonna paint a picture of you having sex with another man yeah. like that? No, don't nah. come at me like that. I see a TikTok of this... No, my uh, mama, I'm gonna stomp your ass like you step out of <laughs> yeah. the motherfucking parking lot. I keep seeing these TikToks of this, like, corner store owner yeah. who says gay stuff to the black dudes that come yeah, in on their way them, out. like, holds their hand. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, nah, but, like, mm -hmm. they get so tight, dude. They get yeah. so upset. Yeah. Keeps trying yeah. to give them a pink Quit lighter. Yeah, the, yeah. I saw the pink lighter. Yeah, that's... <laughs> they start banging on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, come on. Come on, man. Yeah, quit. That you know, ain't I funny, bro. I that fucking lighter. Yeah, don't give me the damn pickle I, lighter. I knew you think you're funny with your skits and shit, man, but that shit wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've been you're wrong old. for that. Like, what my mama sees this, man. What's she finna see this? I saw, um, I was talking to this girl, um, she's a comic too, but she was like in a the baby music video and she was showing it to me. Yeah, and she's just like you know, like a black woman with like huge ass, and she's like twerking. <laughs> yeah, and then she like pauses it, like, and she's like, and see, I got the bucket hat on, so my daddy, if he ever sees this, don't know it's me in the video. <laughs> like, how much did she get paid to do that? I don't know. It could have been an, even an exposure thing or a connections thing. She was super nice and was like very funny, but it was just really funny to me, like for me, just in my own fucked up, like I'm a piece of shit head. Yeah, mm -hmm. like imagining her dad watching that and be like, what the. That's my daughter's ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just recognizing it from the technique yeah. and form. That can't be her. Look, yes. She got the bucket hat only, on. She never wears bucket hat. Only, <laughs> only two people have recoil like that in their ass. <laughs> her mama, her mama's sister, three people actually. <laughs> and my daughter. 
I pay attention. Right. But I I, I love I love more than the baby fan just sitting in the crowd going. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> I know I know it ain't the girl from the Let's Go video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've always been jealous though of like my buddy Aaron because he like grew up like a like a Danny McBride like Kenny Power style redneck. Oh yeah. So he's just the day walker. Like he can do like White Louie comedy, but he also just is like. I remember we were in this like black biker bar in Myrtle Beach doing a mic. And um, it was like during Black Biker Week, and he's just talking on stage. He's like, "Yeah, I know. I played a lot of like basketball in high school. That's when I figured out like uh, black guys had like big discs. Not even not what you think. Like we didn't look at each other. None of that. None of this shit. I don't fuck with that." And like already getting kind of laughs from that. It's like, "No, nah, no." Nah. He's like, "Chill on me, man." No, nah, I just because I remember one time my buddy Quan asked me a question. Yo, Aaron, you ever get your dick sucked from behind? And he's like, "Behind? Like a tail?" <laughs> and this dude ran out of the bar and like did a lap in the parking lot and came back in. <laughs> it's like, "Yo, that boy is this dude. That boy ain't never got his dick sucked from behind from before." It's like, "I ain't, I ain't got it on me like that." He's just saying simple shit, but just like you would have thought, it's like, "Oh, this guy's better than Louis." He's destroying right now. He's yeah. just like, it, "I don't, I'm not him, and I don't have that charisma, so I can't convey it." But it's just, yeah, dude, it's like. I don't know if I can ever figure out how to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, also just thinking of getting your dick sucked from behind. That would fucking hurt, dude. I think so, too. Yeah, I know, right? Pushing your erect penis between <laughs> your legs, upside it's, down. It's a thing where, like, completely. I'm, like, almost, I think people make it up. Like, I don't think anybody has that done, because it would hurt. It would hurt so bad to force my dick down <laughs> and... You gotta, well, you're gonna fucking stand in front of a woman like you're on the 10-yard line? <laughs> yeah, like, hike... Style. Hike your dick to her mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking look mouth. right at my asshole. Yeah. Suck my dick. Look right at my asshole. Yeah. Fate, eyes, nose, yep. everything's mm -hmm. pushing into my ass cheeks. Yeah, you yep. better hope she's not Semitic or anything, because mm -hmm. they got them long noses. That shit gonna... You gonna get your prostate milk. Poked in the Maybe hole. that's what it is, is that, like, they're too afraid to be, like, kind of gay and have a finger in their butt. Welcome back to another episode of the Goat Mentality Spotlight here on the Goat Mentality Podcast. It is your main man, Kevin Holmes. Here's what we're spotlighting this week. 2024 NFL season is finally here. Hallelujah. And tonight is the first presidential debate between President Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, if you guys remember, last week we talked about sign language. Nope, not talking about American Sign Language, British Sign Language, French Sign Language, or any other sign language out there. I'm talking about sign language, as in shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right, the most used communication tactic to insult others who believe something different than you you're going to hear this so much throughout the nfl season nba season nhl season any sport you watch and especially in politics which tonight i'm sure is going to be a comedy roast filled event for all people who enjoy entertainment and jokes like your boy here now week one started and it was pretty great vikings won Bears won, Lions won, and Packers lost. Midwest can rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, if you remember the week before, we talked about the GF3 method, this mental model of uh, prioritizing God, fitness, your finance, and your freedom. When you have God, you got a friend. When you, when you focus on your fitness, a strong body is a strong mind. And when your finances are straight, your freedom will follow. So while you watch the presidential debate tonight, Enjoy it as the entertainment that it is, along with every football game your favorite NFL team plays. Enjoy it as the entertainment that it is. Do not invest your emotions. It will only drive you to insanity and to dark places. I would know. I've been a Viking fan for 30 years. I've had nothing but disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Continue to use the GF3 method to help improve your life. Continue to tune in each week to a new episode of the Goat Mentality Podcast. No, you never know, maybe you learn something, maybe you don't, but hopefully here at the Goat Mentality Podcast, we can provide a little bit of entertainment and joy to you wherever you may be. So, for Aiden, Big E, Trey, and your boy here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the Goat Mentality Podcast on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at the Goat Mentality Podcast. And don't forget the GF3 method to help improve your life. Look out for sign language and remember to stay goaded. Peace. But if a nose comes in their butt from getting their dick sucked from behind, that's fair game. It's like yeah. soaking. It's just a treat. Yeah, that's uh, just like uh, it's like you can't help that. You know, yeah. those jobs are for white women. You know. 
<laughs> I might try that tonight. Get my dick <laughs> sucked from behind. <laughs> then you 69. Should, yeah, I mean, 69 is the, just Doesn't do it happen. that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a lot easier that way. Yeah. You know, I, I, ha- I was having this dream the other night where um, Trey was on the highway. It was Trey and I in the, in the same car. We're on the highway. And just a semi truck full. He's driving mm. semi truck fully swipes the left side of the car, and <laughs> he's like mangled and crushed in, in the ditch. And you're fine. I'm I'm completely fine by the grace of God. I can't believe it. Thank God yeah. every day for that. But you're just you're <laughs> coughing. You're going. <laughs> you gotta call an ambulance. <sighs> and I have a loaded nine millimeter in my pocket. I know you're not gonna make it, so I just shoot you in the head three times, and then I get fully erect. Yeah. Then okay. you wake That's up. That's an interesting. Yeah, I was going to say pause just from the fact you had a dream with another man in. Oh, really? Yeah. But that ended that cra- that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I just I I don't know if you guys But your dreams, dreams usually do all. come true, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess that sucks. Oh my god, I'd pray to God. Mhm. That you get to shoot Trey. I get to shoot well, Trey. you hope yeah. it happens because you just haven't had an you erection. You just go into so his room and see a vision board and yeah. it's like him naked with fully hard holding a gun. Right. Do you, do yeah. Right after you, right after you shoot me, you get yeah. a full erection. You call your lady. First thing you do. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> we got to get this done yeah. right now. Yeah. I've been trying to get her pregnant for so yeah. long. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't been able to get an erection. <laughs> get over here, baby! I just shot Trey. <laughs> I, just shot, I just shot Trey. It's Woo. here. Yep. <laughs> oh my God! I'm so proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just I like, told you this I told would happen. You, if... I told you. You just had to go for it. I'm so <laughs> fucking horny right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in traffic for 45 minutes at the 94 tunnel. Mm-hmm. Your dick's just slowly getting softer. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I I've had the opposite thing where I was taking like hair loss medication for a second, yeah. mm-hmm. and it just it didn't really make my dick like not get hard. I just like stopped having the desire to have sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and in a way, it was like I got so much shit done. I was so free for like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then the other side of it came, and I started having like crazy like psychosis, panic attacks. Oh. And I was like, well, I guess the gravy train had to stop at some point. Oh man. But. My girlfriend's because, happy about it. She was getting really pissed that I wasn't wanting to have yeah. sex. Which is funny because it went from her like feeling like she just had this like horny Indian boyfriend that wouldn't leave her alone. Yeah. To like, yeah, but she fucking missed fucking hello baby miss sweet baby girl now. I bet you missed that. So, yeah, because I take, I started taking the hair pills because I was tweaking. I was like losing hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I started taking them. I haven't really noticed any side effects. I it's guess, like a but... small group. I think it's. I think like there's something fucked up with my head or something, and that's why. But I stopped taking them for a minute, and I started taking them again recently. And I kind of feel like I might be dealing with that right now. Well, like, like, are you just like sitting chill? Like, I would be playing PlayStation, which is, by the way, the happiest I'm a- I ever am at any point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would just be like, have like these intrusive thoughts where like, you should fucking kill yourself right now. Like, you're actually, you're going to kill yourself. Oh, not, not that. Yourself. I'm yeah. talking about the no sex drive. The no drive. sex drive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't even need to share that part then. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you would have prefaced that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about wanting to kill myself or nothing like that. Oh, I feel well, like I've been trying hard. real hard to get ahead in life. Yeah. Things aren't great, but they could yeah, be I just, worse. I, I held a gun up to my head, and then my dick got hard finally. I was oh. like, I found the workaround. Um, mm. You just no, need... Yeah, the, the no sex drive thing, I think that happens with a lot of guys, because it's a hormone suppressant. Ah. You're, you're, like, suppressing uh, DHT, which is a type of testosterone. Gotcha. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm going to stop taking them then. Yeah. Watch me lose all my goddamn hair. <laughs> yeah, immediately. <laughs> yeah. Or the withdrawal from hair pills is the worst worst withdrawal. Yeah. You have pretty thick hair, dude. I don't know if I would yeah, be worried. I don't know. It's that top light. Like, I'm on a lot of sets and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, that top light, when it hits your head, you'll just see right through your hairline. Oh. And I would just be... And I just shed a lot. Like, I'll wake up and there's, like, a whole, like, weave. You yeah. Know? I could fucking sell merch at a fucking funny bone how much hair I lose in a fucking just put it in bags night. yeah, yeah. You, cubes yeah, just make hair a, maybe. you should make yourself so I, I was making like a wall. making a weave joke uh. but, uh, <laughs> but uh I was just thinking maybe you sell it as for coming it pissing it sell it five bucks pay what you want no. right. pay what you want black yeah. people don't want to fuck with that yeah, here's a 20 shit. let me get about like but, 10 but they love Indian people hair they love our hair do they yeah that's where all weaves like premium weaves come from they come from Chris Rock made a documentary on it 
And he like went to India. Like they basically scam all these Indian women and some like young boys into like growing their hair out for religious reasons, and then they shave it as a religious practice. And mm. they're like, "We're going to totally sell this to so many black people." Really? And they just make a fuck it. These temples make a boatload of money selling to like black beauty care brands. What an interesting. What's the documentary called? <laughs> It's like called like it's something that like it feels like almost racist for me to say like good hair or like some some I like think that. It is like, good are, hair. are you a hundred percent Indian? I'm half, so my dad's white, which oh. is why I talk like this and think things like this are funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also why I'm not doing a full black set hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I'm saying I'm just on some Hindu type shit twenty four seven. So were you practicing? Like you get a no, I, mean, I was raised with like barely any religion. And if any religion like I practiced at any point, it was like Christianity because of my dad's grandma. Because she was gotcha. pretty religious. She's Southern Methodist. Um, but yeah. Um I don't know. Like uh it is weird. They 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 do make a lot of money. And if they don't buy from Indian people, sometimes they buy from other Asian countries and sometimes they're using horse hair for weaves, but that's like shitty weave. Um I didn't know any you of this. You've done a lot of research yeah. on these weaves. Uh, I well, I went to like a, like a primarily also black high school, so yeah. there's a lot of weave ripping out. And were you just making mm. bands and bands yeah. and bands? Bands. No, I was racks. just in love with sweet ebony queens. and I, would just, oh. They liked my hair. They didn't like me, yeah. but they liked my hair. They liked touching it. They did like, dude, in math class, like they would touch them. I was like, because I knew the stereotype of like, you can't touch black women's hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, but the fact that they were touching my hair, I was like, yeah, am I like, am I the one? Yeah. <laughs> am I chosen? Am I, you get a golden a ticket. Woman? You get to touch their hair anytime you want. I can touch yours if you touch mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've tested that theory. I, I, I know where your head's at. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's unfair. Yeah, it's sort of like um, Israel launching rockets versus Palestine ro launching <laughs> rockets situation. Where like, it's cool when one person does it. Yeah. Um, but when another person does it, it's just like this is the way. I'm not gonna do a voice to maybe make it obvious <laughs> where I stand, but. One side freaks out about it a lot more. Yeah. yeah. And has, for whatever reason, more media coverage on it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what are we at? That's Sorry. a really good analogy. Thanks, man. I know it was really long-winded, and I hope nobody ever sees this. <laughs> You're probably <laughs> fine, dude. No, it's okay. I don't actually... I'm at the point where, like, I don't care. I've realized, like, I have line cook brain. Yeah. yeah. It's just gonna be like this forever. You can take a brother out of the back of the house, but you can't. Make him a front of the house mm -hmm. type motherfucker. I think you uh, could, uh, I think you move out of New York, that transition for you would happen pretty fast. Uh, I think you'd adjust back into normal life. And... Yeah. I don't know. I think like I could stay the way I am and it would just work out here because it's like I do it in New York and then like club owners in Brooklyn are like, like, it, we can, even though he just did really well on our show. But out here, it's just like people buy me drinks and are really nice to me and say hi. Yeah. People, guys are so nice out here. Like, I almost thought, like, every dude that I was meeting was just gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you ever need a place to stay when you're back here, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. And it's just a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People yeah. help each other out. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I fucking love it here. We see, yeah. Because we're not spending you gotta get You gotta get Sean to come out in here headline feature for him. I, yeah, I'm trying to get him into Sisyphus. Because I think that'd be good. Yeah. I might, are you, I, I don't know. I can, I might float it by Sam too. Cause that would, he would make a lot of money that we yeah. get Sean headline. Sean would move the tickets out here. I tix, uh, I texted Sam about it. So yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's in motion. Hopefully. Hopefully. That would be sick. Yeah. But no, it's so sick out here. Yeah. The winters are yeah. bad. Yeah. Are the winters bad in New York? Not this bad, but I like that it's bad here because then everybody wants to come inside and watch comedy. Uh, I mean, like, the day it's snowing, absolutely not. No. no. Oh, no, absolutely not if there's not. a blizzard. No. Right. You'd but be like, surprised, guys. I work at Acme, and I see, I see people come on crazy nights. We, don't, we never close. I mean, yeah. yeah. Even if it's the blizzard. See, I like, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. People come out. I mean, people are fucking crazy. People have trucks. We're in Minnesota. Yeah. I remember okay, yeah. on my birthday, this is, like, my first... Nine months into comedy, I I worked the ticket booth on a night where it, like the road thirty they closed down thirty five W yeah and I and I and I <laughs> I had to take side roads in a complete blizzard with like four feet of snow on the ground yeah dude that was uh, was that <laughs> your the night you auditioned because I rode no with that you was that. a different night yeah. yeah dude April in April blizzard and they're like do you guys still want to do it we're like 
Yeah, we're we're, we're super cool. We're gonna, we're gonna make it to CCU on time. <laughs> we made it to CCU on time, but there's five people who are like, yeah, go up there. So yeah, it was it was it was. <laughs> Dude, that's a great. That's a show. What are you yeah. talking about? That's yeah. Five people. Five people. Yeah. It's not. It's not bad. And they're not comics. Oh, by yeah. New York State, you got a fucking night of your life. Five, <laughs> if five people, I piss on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get up there and I, I throw my drink at one of them. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. means two or three that are, they're leaving. You know what, dude? Yeah. Like at a, at a show with five people, that's the only time you can like hang brain on stage. Yeah, you can flash yeah, them. You're not exactly. They're like, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. We're we're here for comedy. I'm flashing my nuts and my asshole. <laughs> yeah. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> I've never for heard hang and brain. That's yeah. what's up, that's player. So awesome. yeah. Imagine <laughs> hang brain. <laughs> Imagine just taking a full shit on, on the CCU stage and just ripping off posters and picking it up like that. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be a really cool set. <laughs> I think all five of those people in there would be so excited. It would be, woo! Yeah. Yeah, that's this, we saw Elliot McVeigh do his G.G. Allen set. <laughs> I, I was brain. watching videos all day of Indian guys in like Canada taking mm -hmm. shits on the beaches and digging holes. Love that. Which is like a thing. I've been doing that at Hidden Beach down yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah been sick. shitting. Every time I got Blaming a Blaming on an Indian guy like, can you believe he's fucking Indian yeah. people coming yeah. in? I think I've talked about this before when I would go out and, <laughs> and smoke weed during COVID. Pooping in the beach. I would just like go to the, go to this park shit in like the very back part of it and then wipe my ass with leaves you guys had a completely different covid than me <laughs> i was like going to harris teeter parking lots with a loaded gun trying to find the courage oh yeah. wow yeah. no go. i was enjoying covid i got drunk as hell every day yeah no yeah. i did i was also 18 so smoking yeah. out cool. all hours of the day yeah getting high yeah. drinking <laughs> I was 22 working like a work from home sales job. And, I see. And then I switched back to being a line cook. I was like, nope, this is also bad still. Too. Yeah. <laughs> um, just kidding though. Sorry. I'm going to kill myself. Kind of really <laughs> fucking ruined the vibe now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm working an online sales job from home. I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Pretty much. I can't fucking handle it. <laughs> yeah, dude, it sucks. Um, and I got girl brain from it. And yeah. What does that mean? I mean, just. Dude, how are you gonna kill yourself as a man? You I, can't. Yeah, you no, gotta look. Bullshit. And I've been watching this uh, this black dude on TikTok, and he's in the gym. He's jacked up, and he's yeah. he's saying King, but he has he's the way he's saying it. It sounds like he's saying Keith. Keith. Yeah, and he's in the gym alone. Every video. You got this, Keith. I need you to try harder, Keith. <laughs> and they get me jacked up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sick. Yeah, and I think of him like it started ironically, and then you just trick your brain into being like, "No, that actually gets me hyped." Yeah, yeah. And no. you build a better life because some black dude in an empty gym said, "You got this, Keith." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For me, it's watching like that guy with like Down syndrome drain half court shots. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those that gets me pretty amped. I leave a comment that just says, "I'm trying to get like you, bro." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unironically. Yeah. Yeah. It's no like the. We all came out stronger from the pandemic by being glued to our phones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got this, Keith. Yeah. I was trying to excel, like, excel at a job like an idiot. Fucking stupid. No, you fucking... Dummy. No. no you gotta watch you No gotta Jumper get the FYP, video. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. You gotta you get, get fucking no educated. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, dude, you gotta get a job you have to watch entry level and you, where you're like, I could chill at the entry level the yeah. whole time where mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. I, don't, I don't need to manage this group home. Right. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> but I can... Nope. If I tried, I could. I could, but I'd, I'd, I'd rather, rather just watch Adam 22 argue with a porn star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you ain't a whore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch Jada Kiss like pause compilation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yep. And then learn to enjoy that. Reprogram mm. your brain. I made sure to get a no jumper video on the reels. Oh, you did? Yeah. Let's go. Let's Pretty I, we, we, yeah, we've missed the past few videos uh, with just updates about world. World history. World you, history. Uh, you I, sent I, this I almost, one. I almost unfollowed No Jumper this week. No, don't do that. Dude, I was, lo do I was that. looking at it. My finger was hovering over the unfollow, and I was like, uh, it, it felt like a, uh, a magnet. You're like, a cultural you know, news segment, right. dude. You got to keep <laughs> right. on to No Jumper. Yeah, that was, um, <laughs> that was a rough era when he let his wife get slutted out one time. He still, he, he still does. He still does? Yeah. I thought like they had a thing where it was just him like kind of having the best life ever where he gets to do it for a while. And then she hadn't, and then, like, she brought up the point, like, well, I should be able to do it, too, for work. And it's like, I guess it's a good point. You can also yep. have sex with yeah. other people. So she still does it? 
I don't yeah. know. I, I mean, I don't. Yeah. If there was like maybe like a link or something to check this out, I think you could st- easily access <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, you could probably <laughs> easily crazy. find it. So you would, see, that wait, would, so, that would be All so right. bad if I did that. That would be stupid. <laughs> Fucking dumb. What is this? Though? This is a horse mauling a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. The horse is <laughs> maul. This mauling the guy. Yeah. It's, it's like, what do you? What Whipping did he? What did he do to that horse? <laughs> And I looked and behold, the pale horse. Right. And the name it said on <laughs> was death. <laughs> and hell followed death with him. To all of them. Yeah. I like how, like, one. <laughs> like a dog. That's dude. crazy. It's got, it's got the dog stance. <laughs> yeah. Not even that, dude. Like, one. Did you guys see the guy coming to help him? Yeah. And it was like, nah, never mind. Yeah. I, I can't involve myself <laughs> in this. You it's think like, oh, no, that thing is hard. Right. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge I dick. thought the horse Ew. would be more swinging. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. picking him up, place him down. Yeah. It, yeah. It was. He was really hunched up like yep. a dog. Yeah, no, that horse is half pit bull, man. <laughs> that brought me a lot of joy, man. Thank you. <laughs> He's alive, though, by the way. Yeah, no, TikTok doesn't, or uh, Instagram doesn't show deaths. Lands right on his leg. Oh, thank God this is Instagram and he ain't hurt. <laughs> is it broken? <laughs> is it broken? <laughs> okay, I thought they were going to answer that question. Damn. It was like one of those like He's fine. I went like, on a roll. I'm it was sorry. like one of those Mexican guys that speaks in whispers, being like, "Timber, <laughs> is like, it what? broken?" Oh, <laughs> oh, scootered right if, through that thing. Uh huh. And she's still gonna shop. They were on that <laughs> David Goggins. Still- yeah, <laughs> that was actually kind of metro mobility epic schedule to be there in an hour. She's on the David David Goggins mindset. You don't know me, son. <laughs> Plowing through. Yeah. Oh no, that was like her. That was her Indiana Jones running away from the bull. Oh moment. yeah, grabbing the hat. Yep. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's dun, awesome. Dun, 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 How did? Dun, dun. A frail woman take down the entire structural Those integrity. Those scooters are crazy, dude. Because the entrance? elderly, like that's like that's it. Like I lived through World War II type mm-hmm. hustle. You know what? I I bet she's taking trend. Yeah, I, she's yeah. probably on a How, lot of trend. That would be really cool for like a, for like a woman, <laughs> or like an old woman, to fall and like crack her hip, and she's like. I don't need an Apple Watch to tell everybody that I'm hurt. I got to take Tren and SARMs, and she just gets jacked. Yeah, yeah, we RoboCop. Yeah, old lady was Tren. Yep. <laughs> we should turn a, an old lady yeah. here in Seward that's been living here for the past. Hey, what's going years. on, everybody? My name's Grandma Gear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get her on TikTok. Bionic yep. arm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're sitting at home looking at your FYP page like a fucking pussy <laughs> addicted to internet porn. You could be out there. <laughs> Storming yeah. the beaches of Normandy, getting your dick hard, <laughs> putting up weights in the fucking Iron Palace. Over at the Mini Haha Planet Fitness, dude. Mm-hmm. She's yep. doing 120 over oh, her yeah. head. You know, she's fucking up that smith. No, wa- yeah. she's doing way over 120 over her head. She's doing like. You think one- with a bionic arm? With a bionic Are we talking yeah. like exoskeleton or <laughs> she's a bionic arm? The long co- she's she's doing- setting the long arm off, ripping that bitch off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. like fucking hitting fucking pyrometrics, doing double clutch dunks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's at LA Fitness, just yeah. slamming on thirteen year olds. Getting yelled at because she fucking brought the yep. rim down again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nana, stop! <laughs> mm-hmm. You're gonna have to go to the JCC if you keep doing that. <laughs> she catches that fucking CNA that's been abusing her at night and covering up the yeah. footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're, you're just talking shit because you don't got games. Yeah. What do we got next? There's so, always got to be someone. Just oh, you'll see. Oh, this is oh digging in. Is there. this Bionic Grandma? Yeah, <laughs> oh. get it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a slick yeah. move. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's like sliding C four under a fucking enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Slide she them with the fucking IED. The right. She really did. Damn. Wow, that was That's- nice. Smooth. Why don't you sp- slide those panties Jesus to the side so you can shit on the floor? This is so calming. It's a guy with his pet snake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and I gave him a kiss. <laughs> oh, right on the nose, dude. Oh, my God. Wow, dude. Yeah. That pulled his entire face forward where dude. you could see all of his teeth. Yep. That's or like sucks. three of his the teeth in where his was mouth. He, well, yeah, Why didn't he have his flute out? <laughs> yeah, he, he should have been charming that <laughs> fucker. <laughs> He knew Let better. Me Not a charming yeah, guy. Dude, that one. That, was... that guy had no riz. <laughs> no. Zero. Zero. Is that snake up mm-hmm. at all. Riz. 
Yeah. Yeah, we give that a boom or a doom. What do we oh, give that doom. Ah, uh, that's a doom. Yeah. That's a doom. not bringing your snake charming device to the snake. This, I can already tell, is a boom. Oh, he's gonna hit a train. I, I'm just wondering, wow. Wolfgang, why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> What's the context what, of this video? What that guy do to he make shot you his so tire mad? <laughs> he was shooting his tire out, not trying to kill him, just trying to stop him. No. Oh, dude, he had a. He still had an "I'm with her" sticker on the back. Of his yeah, car. that was a very <laughs> was progressive like, police was officer. A decade yeah. ago, yeah. get the fuck off my highway. <laughs> <laughs> shooting the bumper. Yep. That's Pussy. pretty cool. Well, what if they said? What if they had like damning evidence on Hillary Clinton? Then I would get it. Well, then that guy's going to kill himself. Yeah. The one in the video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then that guy would kill himself with two gunshots to the head, obviously. Mm -hmm. Nope. What do we got here? Oh, please tell me this old man gets shook around. Oh, oh my God. The alligator. Oh, step on his head. Dude, Fuck it's just a close shit. call. I saw one where a guy was just hanging out with him, petting it like a dog. Oh, damn. One of them's unavailable. That must have been a good one. <laughs> They're in the. They're in. The, wow. Whoa. The. Whoa. Oh. Where's she off to? <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, damn. She went to fucking car Narnia. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. Dude, she got it. She went into some saw trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been selling you. You've been selling bad used cars for all your life. <laughs> you've been beating like your eyes back, pretending to be Chinese, getting discounts <laughs> at the grocery store for ten years, getting in traffic accidents all the time. <laughs> well, now it's time to pray a game, as you say. <laughs> I don't know. It was like a spirit led her there. She yeah. was on a, a mission. Yeah, dude, dude, that was live action spirited away, dude. Wow. She went off to a magical... There was so much... What was the plan? ...purpose behind that. That was unreal. I don't think she had one. Or she seemed pretty That's confident. So awesome. It has to be awesome to be the guy that knows what she's walking into. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like, you know you know when you're coming down the other end of the highway and, like, you know there was an accident? Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, you're about That's, to hit it, buddy. That is a Wiley e. Coyote kind of uh, a Roadrunner <laughs> trap for her right there. Yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was chasing the just the gentle waft of a piece of cheese yep. and <laughs> found her way down in the car park. Corner, what's the cause of death? Mm -hmm. Looney Tunes type bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> This bitch ran into a painted bitch wall. Had a, my, bitch had a loony, my, my girl had a Looney Tunes type death. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never finna recover from this. Fuck out of here. Start like a, a family's having... fund for Looney Tunes yeah. ass death. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. just families of victims of Looney Tunes ass death. <laughs> my daughter thought the road kept going, but it was actually just a large paint of wood. <laughs> <laughs> a giant anvil fell on it. She, was a, she has a one floor home. Where did it come from? And her teeth turned into piano keys, and I was just so upset about the whole thing. My, my daughter got raped to death by a French skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the accent was charming at first. He came All on because she so dressed as a strong. cat for Halloween. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to think of more Looney Tunes ass devs. I love yep. to I'm gonna put a whole stick of my uh, of dynamite yeah, uh, on my dad's My, my husband sweet. was in a bar fight <laughs> and this guy he he, it's, he, he took out a can of spinach and got really jacked and beat my husband to death on the bar. <laughs> this is bare hands with his tumor arms. <laughs> just 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 somebody gets gets into a bad fight, they're in a coma because of it, and like they take a picture of him, just a big lump like that on the on the top yeah. there. It just pushes past yeah. the hair and yeah. it's all blue on the top. My son was sleepwalking in construction zone. <laughs> just like, yeah, like a 911 call. My husband's really mad. He just, his face got red and then he started making the sound of a teapot and he fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, steam comes out of his ears. Yeah. 911, what's your emergency? Somebody replace my husband's cigar with dynamite! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. His, so much his foot his face is covered in soot. You guys gotta get over here. Right now. Is, is his head intact? Well yeah, his head actually didn't explode. His just lips are on the other side of his head now. Yeah. <laughs> it turned his face completely around. <laughs>
Uh, I sent these here. I'm gonna have to take a water break for that riff, boys. <laughs> Anybody got a sweat towel I can dab my forehead with? Oh, I wish. We all need cloth rags. Then almost killed. Yo, Hunk <laughs> did the sprite challenge. Mm-hmm. Dude, we should go. In the barber shop, dude. Uh, Got the floor all whoa. sticky. <laughs> Hair's gonna be all stuck in there. Uh, yeah, I've Yo, been seeing bro, look buddy. at how many people are recording him. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we call this the LeBron James challenge. <laughs> I, I he saw, keeps chugging. Mm -hmm. I saw a video of uh, people are give, having homeless people do the, the two bananas yes, and a bottle of Sprite challenge. Are uh, they like all throwing bucks. up? Yeah. <laughs> Where you, you you know that challenge where yeah. you have two bananas, you eat two drink. bananas, and you hammer as much sprite as you possibly can. You're supposed to finish the whole bottle. Yeah, you never do. You never do. You throw up. Yeah. The guy I've been that thinking I watched about doing that on your Franklin. He got really close to yeah. finishing that bottle of sprite. He really did, dude. He had that. He had it horizontal. Was the right. carbonation Flat. fucked him. I don't know what the bananas and the carbonation does to you, but it. it some scientist explained yeah. it on a Facebook short I watched. That's so awesome. Should've, oh, it's probably like, uh, yeah. It's probably the oxygen and the carbonation reacting with the potassium because potassium is explosive. You can make well. That's carbonation. what it is. Then there's more potassium in a tomato. <laughs> well, I don't I think should, anyone's gonna house a tomato, tomato, tomato like an apple. No, it's okay. I also said a boring fun fact. <laughs> I can't like. I just was. Dude, I, I was surprised by that. Oh, I, I I do. I no never. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta tell him to put a star on him. Oh, sick. These are kids having fun. Yeah. Are they the Kia boys? No, they're driving a Chevy Equinox. I used to have this one. This is of grandma's cars. car. Oh, mom's they? car. Yeah, they oh, no, that is a Hyundai. It's a Hyundai. Okay, maybe they, they stole did that. Get that. They, yeah. they did. They're just having a good time. Soon enough, we're going to be having uh, Uber drivers that used to be Kia boys. I and think you're, you're like, how the hell did I get here 10 minutes before I was supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> he knew all the shortcuts. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't take Uber. This is my car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By law, you have to hang out the side of the Uber with the shiesty on and yeah. flip yeah. people off <laughs> as they're walking. Yeah. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Hold up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's, a, he's just plowed through a freaking. Oh, oh he pulled it. No. Get out of there. Oh, no. Oh. He's really <laughs> Is that a gas? My man said, yeah. let's take this show on the road. Yeah, I got to get out of here. Oh, and the. Oh, no. Is that a gas pump? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think the gas pump is still in the car on fire or something. Oh my God. He slammed God. right into that thing. Dude, that, it's me trying to open up my buzz ball. <laughs> uh, that's, that's me getting crazy neck while I'm trying to drive. <laughs> yeah. Just busting up, smashing to a Chevron. You gotta back <laughs> Hold up. On, baby. That's what took so long is the that old lady bit that his was hog like when they like slammed. Indian Pakistan gang type beef. Like, <laughs> you guys are like, for Pakistan. <laughs> Getting dome and slamming into a Chevron. Yeah. That'd be pretty boss. That would be pretty sick. That'd be pretty boss hog. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. This guy's just flexing his strength. I'm still a silverback gorilla lifting my, my heavy table in my living room <laughs> in my house I bought. I am, I am the, the head, head of the, of the household. <laughs> I'm the king. Yeah, that guy's built like Chris Hall. That is a heavy <laughs> <Yeah>. table. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yep. This is Chris Horn if he said the N word last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> less. <laughs> Yo. How much do you think that weighs, Elliot? Probably 100 pounds. I mean, that shit look heavy. It. Mm -hmm. it that shit look heavy. He's a silverback gorilla. He is a silverback yeah, gorilla. Is. I don't think that that's like a crazy. I think when you like look at his scale and his body, the fact that like the muscles still get up with him. Yeah. It's like I'm like a like a like a Jewy hypochondriac, and like I know guys like this in real life, and all, <laughs> and I think I'm gonna be the one that dies from a blood clot. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. <sighs> Sometimes, so, though, those people persist. They yeah, make yeah. it a very long time in life. Mm -hmm. It makes me kind of yeah, jealous because it's like, Aiden, what did you say? I sent this in here, Trey. Can you say this? <laughs> Can you say this guy's <laughs> last name? He's just a bass pro fisherman. This is his official page. Yeah, his name's James. What's the name on the drink? <laughs> I, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, me. uh 
You need me Aiden. to. <laughs> Do you think you could read the name for <laughs> me? No, the thing is, I can't pronounce it. I Nijemeyer. think it's Filipino. Nijemeyer? I think it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe there's a video on his page where he says it himself. <laughs> I want to make it clear say, to I my 30,000 I... followers, I, I don't I don't approve of this. <laughs> <laughs> he's got 41.3, dude. That's and he's so just amazing. loving life. No, my, my shit's like all fucking like old unks, though. Like I have like stage four unks as my main demographic. I was like looking at the breakdown. Oh, really? It's a lot of like middle-aged black guys that follow me. That's pretty yeah, sick, though. That's a boss. That's yeah, a very boss. good... Like, they catch me on one podcast, dude. They're gonna be so all of uh It's gonna be like women watching Matt Rife. Dude. I know for the first time, like, there oh, this the type of shit he about. I don't sound like that. <laughs> I do not sound like that. Making a fool that for jokes me. Jokes don't hurt me, baby. I still get ate the fuck up like a porterhouse steak with a one steak sauce on it. Mm -hmm. And what? You jealous? Would you ever uh, rub down a stud like that and just think of it downtown? How much money's on the table? Because this there's got to be good some cash. No, no money, life supply of A1 steak sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even use A1 steak <laughs> sauce like that. Yeah. I don't even use A1. I do it for the love of the game. You yeah. can keep the steak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the steak sauce. Let me get in there. Yeah, I just hope that she keeps it inspiring the whole time. Then for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'd be a very supportive mm -hmm. lover. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Yeah. yeah. Ate up. Praise most high. I would ask her to wear the flat brim backwards and the t shirt on. <laughs> she doesn't have I'm sex any that. other way. Yeah. <laughs> That's Maybe. a woman that has a very like faded Tweety Bird shirt yeah. with a lot of moth holes in it. They got the sex wife <laughs> beater that they yeah. put on. Oh yeah. Yeah, the black just the black wife beater that they throw on for sex. Mm hmm Socks on still. Mm-hmm. And full one, strap. And on. one mixtape shorts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The and ones, the and one uh, that they when they tried to do a version of like dunks, those are my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like yeah, the fanciest layup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, I forget what her name was. I saw some like white girl on my feed. She's like built like your girlfriend, but she was like, I don't know how tall she was. She'd have been like maybe six two, but like holy shit, just yamming him down like dunk, slamming dunks, like nothing crazy like a windmill or anything, but like did did like a two hand like back scratcher. I mean, that's way more than I can do. Yeah, I can't. I can't even get to the rim. Yeah. It's just crazy. And it, dude, I think it's over for us. We got, we got like white girls balling out like Steph now. It's that's over. perfect. Get him in the NBA. It is funny though, because it's like, that's yeah. what the WNBA wanted. And now like that they have one like that, they're, they all just hate her. They're like, oh, she thinks she's so fucking good. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, we can do anything men can do. One girl comes along that can do what men can do just as good. And they're like, yeah, fuck that bitch. I bet, yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually let's not catch a single pass from her so she has 100 turnovers on the season. <laughs> I would love to see Caitlin Clark in the NBA. That would be so sick. I love the, yeah. I, the that idea would be so sick. of if you're good enough in the WNBA, mm -hmm. they'll just Throw be like, fuck the, it, why don't yeah. you play with the real boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love that, dude. I think, if I it think was a pipeline WNBA to NBA, you just had to fucking show out. Yeah. That I, would I be sick. I think she would be fine in, on the perimeter. I think it would just be like interior defense is what would, where that they that's where they'd fuck her because those guys are just big and they'll just fucking run you the fuck over. Mm -hmm. Do you think some of them would have a personal vendetta? Do you think they'd be like, I'm a, I got some something to prove wait are you saying the dude's playing her or? playing her yeah mm, I like guess. for like for like they every like Connor. guy that they're letting run a touchdown because he has like a disability there is one person on the field that wants to tackle that kid because yep. they can't even stand mm -hmm. the idea of an imaginary touchdown right i always thought about like imagine if it was like a state high school game this was the winner and the coach was like we gotta win this fucking game. And he pulls the disabled kid off the bench and they're like, well, you gotta let him run a touchdown. Right. And that's the game winning score and that's how they win state. That's no sort of, one on the other team yeah, could be mad. That sort of is the send plot out, to Rudy. Send out the special yeah. team. <laughs> yeah. But like the opposing team being like, they sent out the fucking retarded guy. The coach throwing his clipboard <laughs> to the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, we can't do, we can't yeah. tackle. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't get... Our only hope is to make sure we could tackle the other guy before he gives them the ball. Mm -hmm. Make it look like you're trying. I mean, make it look like you're trying out there, boys. <laughs> That's yeah, the only chance we got. You got an assistant coach like 
throwing candy to the, to the offsides. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get like, him off his oh, track. Fire on the play. He's yeah. trying to distract the player. Candy interference. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of bounds now. He's out of bounds. We got to touch the ball. Is this a no jumper clip? It yeah, Trey? it is. Thank you, Trey. You're welcome. Don Julio, active Julio. That's really good. Yeah. Orlando Brown hitting that Don Julio and singing. That's so cool. I know it's a different, that, like... Black. I had to make sure to get a no-jumper clip in there for you guys. Thank you. I, I know it's a different black entertainment show, but I was watching, like, The Breakfast Club, and I realized that... Sh I didn't never know what Charlemagne's real name was. I didn't know it was, like, Lenard. Oh, and I thought it'd be funny to name? call him, like, Lenard War and call him the Black Nard War. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what up, Lenard War? Cause he I feel like he War. would take that horribly. He would. He, yeah. He did, dude. He fucking, because he's, he's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I actually. He's like, no, I'm more of a, I'm more of a innovator than Nard War. <laughs> no, I'm anything, more. I'm a black Joe Rogan. I'm more than him. I'm better than him. Don't compare me to that goofy-ass white boy. Like, you wish you made other black guys that happy, dude. I've never seen an, a Nardwar clip. Clip. You never even episode. seen the ones? Like, yeah, but you haven't even seen the highlights of him, like, giving them a gift that's, like, about a super, like, personal detail. Mm -mm. Like, he'll do that to rappers, and, like, they, he'll be like, yeah, so, um, the push up gang. And then he's like, how you know about that? He's like, I have your old t shirts you guys made when you guys used to roll and rep the set together. It's like, yo, you were fed, bro. And they like run out of the room like it's a magic trick. It's like, no, I've never seen that. I've it's seen pretty it's pretty, yeah. yeah. Do yourself a favor, add that to the reels because it is like, it's also like uplifting because it's not like yeah. anybody's like getting punked or anything. It's just yeah. dudes getting a gift and they're so blown away by the thoughtfulness of it. Yeah. That it's almost like, it's almost too thoughtful a gift. It might be gay. Ah. Uh. Yeah. He's dug so deep into their personal history and knows them so well that yeah. he gives them such a thoughtful gift that it makes them think that he's a federal agent. Pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the I, idea of a guy being that nice to any of them is just is so like, out of the question. This is a cop. They're building the case against Kenny me. special attacks. Ground pound. Ooh, when someone's yeah. on the ground only. Do wield nerve disruptors. Going super sane mode. Zero point zero zero three percent power. Whoa. Kenny special attacks. Let's go. Ground, Ground pound. pound. Yeah, but that's not as funny because that's a that guy's doing a bit. That isn't like a guy on that. Did, do you know him? I just know that style of video. Like Ethan Mead makes shit like that all the time. I'll, uh, I'll show you some of Ethan's stuff, but like it's funny. Got my ass. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that... dude. I thought he was a disabled man. No. You gotta check those dude. ones. You sent these ones. Yeah, Neil? I sent those ones. <laughs> Is it people getting hurt? Yeah. Oh, somebody, he's taking a no, piss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what? It can beat him, so. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. She thought it was rain. Pissed somebody. <laughs> make, it, make it do what it do, bro. Hey, 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 hold up. Is it Andrew? Uh, Austin. Right. Austin. I suck with names. Get here, man. <laughs> Not everybody wearing the same hat. Dabbed him up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's literally PC principal. That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Sh oh, that wasn't all of it. Yeah. All right. Let's um. They bully. So basically, they're like, "Well, let's bully this other kid to show him, like, hey, we're on your side. We'll yeah. physically harass somebody else that isn't even involved in this." Well, no, he was making fun of him. Yeah, he's just intimidating. Does he make fun of him? Yeah, he's yeah. like a little. You freak. That was nice of Austin to walk with the black kid. That's really chill of Austin. Austin so I saw this really good Walmart. one the other they day. It was uh, it was like a little black pressure. baby in a do rag, and his mom was yelling at him because he ate his like Later that brownie night, into a gun. Oh, I've and, seen that and, one. Like the comment, the first comment said "Coco felon." That one really fucking. The internet is. Oh, <laughs> dumping an urn. Oh, oh <laughs> no. right in her face. <laughs> Sent it up the beach. Not a bit of it got in the water. 
Well, the thing also, just throw the whole damn urn. Why do you even want the urn anymore? Yeah. Yo. I was just at my grab. Oh, no. Hello. Yeah. yeah. You weren't having a blast? I remember I remember my papa's funeral. Me and my me and my cousins were having a good time. Yeah. We were playing that one clip of uh where the guy's like, yeah, get that dookie hole soaking wet. Mm hmm Soaking wet. How old were you? I think fourteen. Oh, so you were really enjoying his death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I gotta teach my Y'all know what to it is the wind. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Yeah. yeah. What the hell's going on here? Oh, this guy sells the hell out of mattresses, dude. Let's go. Shaking that little rump. That's that's scary. This man. Yeah, I remember getting a high with a, with a guy one time, and he was like, "Yeah, I think I believe that we are the universe experiencing itself, and we're gonna let you live every existence." It's like I hope not. Uh, no, I. Did, I do not want to be that guy. Uh, if we do, I can't wait till I'm that guy. If he's having a fucking good time. If, yeah, uh, but I just the idea that there's a version of me out there that like is getting clowned on World Star. Eh. The Indian in me, and that's how they know you. <laughs> can't stand the thought of black guys making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> As an Indian man, they have to think I'm cool. Well, yeah, you guys get away with doing, like, black scent and dress in black all it's the time. It's so crazy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nuts. It's because of the beard fade, like, combo. They just get a good uh, fade and a good beard. And the nice hair. The nice yeah. hair. And, you like, get the pass. And you kind of get the pass. Some, some black people get really tight about it, but yeah. I, I don't know. I've always leaned into being a white dude because I think that's the funnier route to take. <laughs> in terms of, like, I'll never be cooler and blacker than a black guy. That is true. So but might as well, like... Come on, dude. You know. Don't say that about yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll be okay. <laughs> nah, dude. You one day you could be as cool as a black guy. Nah, man. Sometimes it just it ain't in the cards. You could be, be cool. getting your dick sucked yeah. from behind. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. One day you wake up, you're getting your dick sucked from behind. One, one, yeah. One day you wake. <laughs> you up, wake up with a be, shooting pain you know in your what? girlfriend. You're saying some is real. You're saying your dick some true shit asshole. right now. <laughs> trying you're to suck a lot it from behind. Yeah. <laughs> Waking up to that? Nah, dude, I'm the white boy that hangs out on the three point line. That's my calling in there. Oh, this is awesome. Does he start? Come on, go. <laughs> Come on, go. Come on, go. Out the hondo. At the gardo. Get the gardo. Yo. Elevator. Yeah, this is just bumming me out. <laughs> this isn't a good one. I just feel really bad. He's freestyling. He's having a nice day, probably walking yeah. by the river. I mean, yeah, no, it sounds like there's a highway nearby, but he's on like a trail. Right. He's safe. We don't, we don't have to watch him rap the entire time. He's yeah, rapping. No, I, I really hope that guy has a caregiver or somebody that loves him. Oh, yeah, you know he's got 70 hours of IHS a month. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would be funny if the video cut to like you like trying to figure out a fucking like just editing a clip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just there he is. I forgot the tag. Holy fuck! Oh yeah, I saw this video. Mm -hmm. Get the little one, dude. No, but that's like a Pixar movie in real life. <laughs> that's very heartwarming. That was our, that was Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, that was him preparing yes. for snow dogs. <laughs> <laughs> We've hit that point in the episode. Snow dogs. A bull. We got a bull. Let's go. Oh, I think he broke his back. No, he's okay. Oh, dude, they put they put uh, <laughs> they put dragon dildos on the Oh no, he got knocked out. I've never seen more life. Mm-hmm. Look at him. They're dragging his wedgie up his pants. He's okay. He lives. He lives with five Damn, dude, guy. that's a TBI for sure. Sent this Neil. Oh. Neil, what the hell? <laughs> Fully. What the hell was that, Neil? Algorithm, <laughs> algorithm's fucked, guys. <laughs> Who are we? 
Do we watch a Zhao Ying Summers clip? Of this earth. Who's we that? To realize that we are oh, you don't know Zhao Ying? Uh -oh. Oh, she's a comic who goes up with this scandal. All death means that you're no longer sustaining this vehicle, but you have many different vehicles. So if I ask who we are, we are all. We are consciousness. We are God experiencing this, itself this in seven billion different people. Yeah, dude, the react because videos are so funny. Experience is creation. It's just if a dude you <laughs> doing <laughs> absolutely killing. nothing, killing. He's going from inside. Watch the video. I think I kind of want to go outside right now. How can you do yeah. that you don't inhabit people this is inducing a mushroom trip for him in and out, out and in and out <laughs> you can tell he's really reality. thinking you know when he like looks away from the baby. family the baby runs around put everything in his mouth use his hands for everything on his knees it gets into everything why because it's using his body as a toolbox to figure out reality to experience we are here to experience so who we are we are god we are consciousness experiencing are itself in a physical terrestrial or celestial form Dude, saying all that I to love a, to a hotel guy just figuring out should I stay in the house or out the house today? I you know need what? to. I'm gonna walk my ass out of the damn house. Saying all that to a cop when you're pulled over for a DUI. Mm. We are God. This is consciousness. Why do you think babies touch and put everything in the mouth? Well, there's that Rory Scovel joke. Oh my god. <laughs> He's okay though. Indy is not for beginners. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have life on hard mode. In some places, yeah. There's definitely some play. Yeah, if you're a lady on a bus or a this is a good one. Guy yeah. trying to. Oh yeah. Cross the street. It can get pretty dark. Yeah. Over there, yeah. it can get pretty bleak in the smog. Whoa! In the water. Yeah, he's up. He's up. He's treading. Mm-hmm. Another one you sent is unavailable, oh. Elliot. Sorry for oh, my sake. Let her cry. And if the tears, tears fall down like rain, rain let, let her go. It's so <laughs> wild. Like, why would you shove him <laughs> and then not immediately put your guard up? <laughs> Get popped in the face <laughs> and then crying about Get it? Your hands just yeah. down there. Now you got to pay another four, 44 bucks for yeah, another dude, That guy punched him hard. He fucking shell. shattered his Oakleys off. His Blew head. his Oakleys right off his head. Yeah. Sent him onto another trailer. Yeah, He's they like, just landed on a oh. cop. Oh. <laughs> 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 right on the oh my god rolling out a bunk uh, bed wow roll out a bunk bed in a crack house yeah. mm -hmm. in like a hostel somewhere uh, oh this woman's okay i remember this video she <laughs> wanted that hit yeah. Dude. <laughs> she, was, she was like ready for that she did a great job at not getting out the way mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we at for time Neil? you're at like six oh all right Oh, oh we better. 65? How yeah. many more reels we got? Uh, a handful. Oh, like there, but there's doubles, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's run. Should we run through these reels? This guy just gets sucked out very fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, we can roll through them. Oh, oh. Burn through them quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Dude, Dude it was like the airlock in Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> That had to have felt awesome, Dude, though. He, no, he got a concussion <laughs> from that. Mercy's got it. Dude. Mercy up now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Power bomb sending him. Caving Power bomb in into the fucking grill. Gary Coleman. Into the green egg. Look yeah. The ah. I know that's not a green egg, but I couldn't think of a grill name. <laughs> wow. We both the wrong kind of grills. <laughs> yeah, the one blue collar guy that listens to the show is like, <laughs> it's a fucking Shit black and decker right. motherfucker. Dudes too. Hey dad. Just cause they be Yes, Junior. Oh, this one's good. Uh what year were you born? I was born in nineteen eighty four. Nineteen eighty four? Yes, sir. Nineteen some of the best years in life. So you gotta get up there. You can't be scared wow. to play with these dudes or none like How that. How is it being a slave? You just <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> That's so awesome. I didn't can you, think. Can you imagine if Dr. Umar's kids did that to him? Oh. On like a live stream. They would be disowned. Be? Uh. I peeled the melanin off my child's skin. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I peeled the melanin. Peeled the melanin. I hit him so hard, I knocked him back Don't tell the nobody. time he was talking about. <laughs> well, I do like how it's obviously a setup video. Like yeah. he's just like having a fake conversation with his like other son. Have yeah. you guys ever watched that one reel where it's like, it's the ne uh, the uncle and his nephew just roast him like 
you always letting these girls play you like a video game because you a sweet. And they just, oh, <laughs> have you seen that one? No. no. Uh, it's a classic. If I can find it, I'll send it to you later. It's like just him getting the roasted <laughs> the fuck out of him by a two year old. Play it next spot if you send it. Surf this way, not dripping in, saw dripping in this thing. I do. I, cars, bitch, local rapper gets game. knocked out yeah, for freestyle. Water, don't oh, they're on Galaxy, they're galaxy gas. gas. They're all sipping just... Galaxy gas. Then he gets <laughs> knocked out with the, <laughs> with the tank. His freestyle was so bad. <laughs> he felt inclined to Too hit more. him over the head with the tank. Yeah, they beat his ass out of the cypher. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. I don't think we can show this one. Thanks. Look, she's fine. Yeah, she's fine. so she's waving her hand. She's saying, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. Don't okay. let her replay. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Insane neck. Oh, my God. Whoa. Well, there goes the house. No. It's it's guys trying to do that fi uh, light their oh, shot on fire. My God! <laughs> oh! And then he tried to blow blow it out, and he just blew it all over the kitchen and dropped it all over. They left the gas on the stove on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? How did it go up that bad? Because it's alcohol. Why? Alcohol is like incredibly volatile, so like when it's exposed to oxygen, it turns into a gas like in seconds. That's why yeah, you like. There was so much there was so fast. There was a yeah. Well, he had a whole. That's why you shot can smell out. alcohol, yeah. like when you're like when your nose is near the glass, because that's all just the gas coming up from the top. It turns into gas super quick. Well, you rocked it out with the hardest rap is the hardest trappers <laughs> in the five five zero one four area code. Have a blessed day.